it seems to me that as the earth has many climates suitable for the development of living creatures, so faith may have many names, but named or nameless, comforts and inspires those of sincere spirit who seek the consolation of devout belief. I would therefore never seek to convert a man from his faith or to another, but rather would help him in any way that I can to find the richness and fullness of his own religion. In time he will realize that as one light can be manifested through many colors, so one truth can be sought and found through the several colors of sincere believing. It may happen, however, that different religions have advanced and specialized certain parts, tenets, and doctrines of the one and eternal religion. Therefore, it seems to me that through the study of comparative religion, we come nearer to the complete truth, which is the one and eternal faith. Conflict between beliefs, therefore, confuses and obscures man's natural instinct to worship the supreme good. Evidence is needed when you walk into the world to find if your models are correct or if they need tweaking or where they're sensitive. <clears throat> Perhaps they need attention given because it is not as fortified in certain areas. So in order for you to be a well-rounded person, you go out into the world and you learn certain skills and talents, or you witness others performing devotion to their trade, to their sport, to their effort. And you can always recognize devotion by solidarity, individualized expression. Somebody performing a task, skill, or talent by themselves, in their own minds, in their own bodies, performing because they want to, because they choose to. It brings them enjoyment. And it's easy to spot truth in devotion when you witness people doing things by themselves, a small smile on their face. Which brings us to curiosity. Curiosity and devotion have a very special relationship together. Curiosity gives us perspective. Curiosity is the box that initially starts housing your memory. You want to learn something new. You want to experience something, have a different perspective, see something, hear, feel, all these senses activated in force and power through curiosity. When these two build a relationship, it actually provides another it invites something new, something people perhaps are a bit scared of at times. Perhaps people feel that this third force that enters through friction of curiosity and devotion, these two lovers, that third force comes in that demands respect. This is one reason why I think perhaps some may run from it. <clears throat> this next force, just simply by union, comes in. It is, by name, judgment. And having judgment is critical because judgment doesn't see its parents as curiosity and devotion. Instead, it sees its parents 
in a different light, something new, something that even devotion and curiosity didn't even consider themselves, which brought them complexity. So now they look at themselves in a different way. Devotion sees herself differently and more empowered. Curiosity sees himself in a new state of awareness thanks to the friction between devotion and curiosity creating judgment. Judgment witnesses the world including the parents as evidence and compassion.